Hey Omni Dogs and Omni Kittens. This is uh, Omni Dogs Vault with another overview. I'm Omni Dog, and this is an overview of Brian Michael Bendis' Crime Noir Omnibus. This seems to have gotten a lot of attention recently, and it's a big book, but I think a lot of the uh, material in it is kind of unknown, and I think it would help. Uh, to get a good look at it, because there's a lot of really interesting paneling in it. I've read several, um, two, I think, out of the uh, two of the stories. I don't want to say several. I've read two of the stories, and they're very good. So let's take a look at the Bendis Crime Noir Omnibus. This is without the dust jacket. And I'll show you the dust jacket in a second. So that's a nice spine. There's a plain back. And let's take a look at the dust jacket itself. That's a nice looking dust jacket right there. And from the back, I'll give a little narration. A compendium of classic character-driven drama written and drawn by the king of crime, Brian Michael Bendis. Wait a minute, he drew it? What brings back David Gold What brings David Goldfish, an enigmatic grifter with a heart of gold, back to his old haunts, where his old flame practically runs the city's underbelly, and his ex partner in crime is now a police detective? Who is the bounty hunter Jinx Alameda? And what treasure is she hunting? How will she get drawn into Elliot Ness's real life pursuit of one of America's most notorious serial killers? Plus, Bendis draws from real life and a compelling exploration of the complex world of international intelligence for fans of powerful modern takes on pulp fiction and true world crime stories. It doesn't get any better than Bendis collecting AKA goldfish ace, Jack, queen, king, and joker jinx number one through five fire number one through two and jinx torso one through six. Written by, <laughs> written by Brian Michael Bendis and Mark Andraco, penciled and with cover artwork by Brian Michael Bendis. You know, that's funny. I've read his stories, and I didn't even pick up on the fact that he drew it. So here's um, a long biography on Brian Michael Bendis, and hats off to that dude for illustrating this, because there's some really interesting paneling going on. Let's take a look. So here we have Torso, Jinx, Goldfish, and Fire, written and drawn by Brian Michael Bendis, with the exception of the first one, Torso, written, created and written by Brian Michael Bendis and Mark Andraco, drawn and lettered by Brian Michael Bendis. Well, I'll be damned. That's pretty amazing. So here we go. So you can already see this is a pretty interesting book. Lots of interesting paneling going on in this. So art is subjective, of course, as is the writing, but if you're a fan of crime and crime noir, this may be right up your alley. Um, they're unrated stories, so you get pretty much the full effect of uh, sex and violence. And I'm just going to let these panels speak for themselves. No, mm, that's not good. I did relax the spine, but I didn't see that one happening. This is torso, so let's see what's going on on some of these other pages. Obviously, it's all in black and white. Heavy use of black. A lot of heavy use of black. Robert Crumb, R. Crumb will tell you 
how important black really is to drawing. And I think it's pretty powerful. We've got a lot to cover here. This is a pretty thick book, as you can see. Mix in a little photorealism here. And see here's some cool panels. He's not afraid to uh, experiment with the art form. That's for sure. That's great. I have to say this was probably a labor of love for him to write and draw these. Now I've read, um, I know I've read Torso, and I really enjoyed it. Let's see what the other books were here in the beginning. Torso and Goldfish I read, and I enjoyed that too. I have not read Jinx or Fire yet. So I'm sorry I don't have any background music to make this a little more enjoyable. I'll have to listen to the droning of my voice. Let's dig deep here, a little bit further in. So, oh, now this is very interesting. I thought he had several different artists working, and it's the same artist, and that it's him. A lot of uh, violence, a lot of the F word. Definitely an R rated book. So keep that in mind if you're buying it. This is the full deal. He was free to do whatever he wanted in this book. And unlike other Bendis Omnis, this is. You won't be disappointed in no volume two because there is only one volume. All the other Bendis books don't seem to get a volume two except for Daredevil. Here's a pretty cool set of paneling right here. But yeah, this gives you an overview of what to expect when you get the Brian Michael Bendis crime noir omnibus. Good stories, very inventive art, and it's probably a pretty quick read. Although this unique paneling really makes me want to take my time with it. This was some creative effort he put into this. Let's see if there are any extras in the back. Indeed there are. Well, let's see. Oh, look. A huge chunk of extras right here. This represents the extras. So we have some introduction. Looks like some of this stuff was built on true crime stuff. Scripts. Jinx Gallery. It's 
So this thing's loaded with extras, which is great for an omnibus because a lot of times you really don't get a whole lot of extras in an omnibus. So there you go. There is Brian Michael Bendis's crime noir omnibus. And as usual, when I do an overview, I get immediately interested in it and want to read it. So I hope this gave you um, a little help. If you've been wondering if you want to buy it or not, that uh, getting a look at the artwork uh, can help you. Uh, once again, this is Omnidog from Omnidog's Vault. I appreciate your watching. Please subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think. And uh, I'm going to go post this right now because um, I think a lot of people are interested in this book. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it.